guys thanks for coming back for another haul video this is us agent 27 i'm from the mucollectorclub.com forums um and i'm back today just to show you guys kind of what i got uh, a couple things first up we have wonder woman this is from the uh, new dc 52 um stuff that they're putting out in stores uh this stuff hasn't hit my area luckily uh adam aka evil animation was uh, lucky enough to find this and snag this for me and he sent it right away. Uh, pretty cool fig. Wonder Woman is one of the hardest figures to find in the regular DC universe. So I think this one's going to be equally as hard. Everyone's going to snag it. Um, pretty cool. She comes like with, with a little dagger or whatever with a little sheath off of her butt. Uh, nice, nice looking figure. Um, I don't know. I'm not really crazy about the head sculpt. There's just some, I don't. Know, it just looks odd. I don't. I think her hair is a little off, but. Good looking figure. All right, next round of stuff. This stuff is from eBay. As you guys know, I am uh, aggressively getting my Iron Man armory going. So I'm trying to get all of the armors I that I can, all the ones I'm missing. So first up, we have the um, satellite armor. And the satellite armor, the satellite piece just clips off the back. It did come with like a, a little booger blaster that goes on his arm. I took that off. I'm not going to explain with that. There are two versions of this armor. There is the white version and the silver version. And yes, I'm going to have to get both, unfortunately. Uh, not unfortunately, but I'm fortunately. So I got the white one. Um, got a pretty good deal on this. This came mitten package. Really like the, uh, the way that they did this. These are all articulated doesn't really stand on the figure that well. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to display him with the satellite on or just kind of like laying off to the side yet. So I grabbed him. I also grabbed the... And this is all from eBay. It was from the same seller actually and these were all mint on card. Um, the heavy artillery armor. This is the, I believe the first version of this armor where we've seen this armor a couple times. We've seen this with the, uh, the Hulkbuster armor. Uh, we've seen it with um, the subterranean armor, um, the arctic uh, armor, which I'm missing. So if anyone's got that and wants to sell it, let me know. Uh, very cool fig. Um, love the paint job on this guy. It comes with this little backpack thing. And again, a booger blaster, which I'm not going to use. I just left it that way. So grab that. And then the last armor that came from this seller, which, I don't know, I, this is probably one of my favorite armors I've seen, is the aquatic armor. Um, Really nice paint scheme. I love the little gun on him. And again, this is a reuse of, we saw this on the, uh, what was it? The Star Flare armor with the little um, skirt. But he has flippers. I mean, he has, these are removable. I don't know, that's just cool to me. Um, again, I'm all about fun factor when it comes to toys and you know displaying and whatnot. And I think that just looks neat, so I grabbed that. So those three were from eBay. I'm trying not to lose anything. So it'll pop that over there. So that was all from eBay. And then I stopped off at my local um, Toys R Us to see what they had. And surprisingly, they didn't have hardly anything. Um, but they did have this, and I've been putting off grabbing this, but I figured I better grab it before the movie hits and everyone starts grabbing all the Iron Man armors I can't find it anymore. The Mark V Evolution armor. Again, it's just the Mark V armor um, painted up in gold and I think they added these little shoulder pads um, and comes with interchangeable hands and a little briefcase that doesn't open for whatever reason not a bad armor I wish it had like a waist swivel it has a diaphragm joint up here it's kind of loose but there's no waist swivel that would have been cool um, I don't like the feet I don't like the fact it doesn't have ankle articulation and I don't know if it's just me but this armor this plastic feels weak like it's not as strong as the plastic over here on these other figures so grab that all right next round of stuff this is all from um big hank aka david from our forums um we did a deal where i bought a bunch of stuff off of him he sent it right sent it out right away so the first thing i grabbed was the classic 
Iron Man armor. This is from, I believe, the, uh, what is it, Mojo? Mojo Wave, I believe? Or Onslaught Wave? I don't remember which wave, but there's two versions of this. There's this, this uh, gray version, and there's a gold version. Now, the gold version does go for a little bit more, and I do need that version, so if anyone's got that for cheap, let me know. Um, pretty cool armor. Helmet comes off to reveal Tony Stark. I kind of wish they went back to doing this. Um, Toy Biz did this a lot with all the Iron Mans, and Hasbro doesn't do it. They gave us swappable hats, which is nice, but we don't get them that often. But I like being able to see, you know, his eyes underneath there. I think that's kind of cool. So I grabbed him. All right, I also grabbed... Remember I said we, we saw that uh, heavy artillery armor before? Yep, we saw it again. I grabbed the Hulkbuster uh, armor. And again, this is the like Hasbro version of the Hulkbuster. Very small figure. I mean, incredibly small. I like the look of the armor, but it, it, this is not a Hulk buster in my opinion. This is more like a, I don't know, a panty waist buster. Um, pretty cool, this helmet does come off to reveal that there is an Iron Man inside it, which is different than the other Hulk buster armor. The other Hulk buster armor, you pop the head off and you can see Tony Stark sitting in there. Um, so again, I'm not sure how I'm going to display it. I might have him actually holding his helmet uh, when I put him on the shelf. So I got that. We got, oh, we're going to see that armor again. The subterranean armor. Um, it's missing his little drill bit thing, which is fine, because I wasn't going to display him with it anyway. Um, very cool figure. Love the paint detail, and I like the gold and the brown. I think this is one of my favorite paint detail armors. Besides the heavy artillery, heavy artillery is really badass. So I grab that. I also grabbed the Heroes Reborn Iron Man. Again, very cool armor. And I just realized I forgot an armor. Um, so I'll just tell you guys about it. I grabbed the uh, House of M Iron Man armor too. That one's huge. I'm not really sure how I'm going to display that yet because I didn't realize it was so freaking big. Um, but we'll figure it out. I also grabbed the uh, Stealth Mark IV Iron Man. I really, really like this armor. Um, I did ask uh, Dave if he's got the shoulder pads. I think he said he does, and the, the hands. But very cool figure. Um, I just like the paint detail on this one. I mean, different shades of blues in his arm. Um, I like the red detail. So I think he came out pretty cool. Oh, see, I told you that armor. That I don't like this armor. It doesn't like to stand. And there goes the other one. All right, we're losing armor, so we better hurry up. All right, and then the next one he threw in, or you know, I grabbed. Um, he hasn't sent me the head for it yet, but he's gonna send it with it. my next order. Is the Ultimate Iron Man, and it's got the Tony Stark head, so this helmet will just pop on. So I'll just set him over there. And he threw in for free the Ultimate War Machine. Which is bad because now I want to collect all the War Machine armors. <laughs> and then, last but not least, yeah, I told you guys he, he threw in the uh, I got the House of M, but this was one of the, the big, big purchases I made from him. The Series One Stealth Iron Man armor. He had this guy mint in package, um, so I had him open him up, send him to me. Really, really great figure. Um, a lot of people don't like the, the Series 1 figures, and yeah, they're a little bit bigger and bulkier, but I don't know, I, I really, really dig this figure. I think it, 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 the paint scheme on it is amazing. Um, articulation is pretty good, it's, you know, it's some little stiff joints, again, it's, it's a 10-year-old figure, so I gotta be careful with it. Um, mass does come off, reveal Tony Stark in there, and that looks good. back on so very very cool figure now I have all the series one uh, Iron Man's so if you guys are you know keeping track at home right now I think I am up to 38 armors uh, I am missing five I'm missing the uh, the Captain America armor from the concept series I'm missing the gold first appearance Iron Man um, the Arctic Crusader armor that came in that three pack. Um, 
shoot, I usually know these all off the top of my head. Um, and a couple other ones. Uh, the Stealth Extremists, for example, the uh, Stealth from the Hasbro 2 pack. So the ones I'm missing really aren't that expensive, so I'll probably be getting those um, hopefully within the month and I'll have my armory complete. Then the real fun comes because then I'm going to start actually building an armory. Um, my plan is to build it out of foam and to include lights so I can use it for picture taking. Um, but yeah, that sounds, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the haul video. I hope you guys come check us out on mucollectorclub.com. Uh, we have lots of great stuff going on all the time. If you do come check us out, make sure you guys post up some pictures. Let's see your Iron Man Armory collections. Or if you want to leave me a video response to this video, uh, that'll be cool. Um, again, this has been US Agent 27, and I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.